On the table is a one-day forum designed to engage area residents over a meal, coffee, drinks, whatever, to discuss local issues and ways to make their self-described community stronger, safer, and better connected. On the Table started in Chicago in 2013 and has expanded around the country. Today, in Philadelphia, conversations are taking place all over the city, in offices, libraries, even modern industrial workplaces. We had our own conversation here at WHYY with our neighbors in Chinatown and Old City. Eric Law of Asia Crafts, well known as the Hello Kitty store in Chinatown. Stephanie Ratano, owner of Capofito Pizza and Gelato, and Rosa Vela of Indy Hall joined Plan Philly's Diana Liu to discuss living and working in two of Philadelphia's most well-known tourist destinations. So thanks, everyone, for coming here today. Thank you. Thanks for having us. It's nice being here. Um, I'd love to hear um, from each of you, starting with Eric, what would what's the most Philly thing you've seen in Chinatown or someone who walked by and you say, <laughs> that's so Philly. <laughs> Got to tell people to come so you can see that's so Philly. As I've gotten older, uh, in the past 21 legal age, uh, <laughs> we after after we go, in, we go to clubs or to bars, you know, we... Uh, I'm not sure if other cities have this, like where you you can go to a late night eating spot and sit down mm-hmm. and have like a family style meal. Mm. Um, I feel like when I visited friends from in California or New York, after after going out late night, uh, we just go home or we go to like a cart. But um, to have like restaurants in uh, Chinatown where you can sit down and still converse and kind of having have like a, a after hour spot basically. Uh, with food and where everyone can just recap the night or just continue the celebrations and whatnot. I felt that's not, I'm not sure if that's exactly Philly, but that's something that I hold dear to myself. Mm-hmm. And I would want to show friends coming, mm-hmm. visiting from out of, st- out of state or something. You know? And Stephanie, what's something that's so Philly that you've experienced recently? Um, in general, I think that the most Philly thing is the use of language. Um, I think words like John and yo <laughs> are just um, spectacularly Philadelphian. I, the word John, just take, I, I say it, like, pass me that John over there. Or, Do you have any more of these Johns? Because it's it just this fantastic word that encompasses everything. Yeah, about, like know. down ashore. That, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Yeah, non-Philadelphians would ask, which shore? <laughs> Rasa, what's the most oh. Philly thing you've experienced I'm in the hot seat. Week? Well, um, I have a friend from North Carolina um, coming to visit this weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I had asked her, you know, what do you want to do? And she's like, I've never been. Show me anything. And I was like, well, we don't have enough time for that. <laughs> and um, I said, I do I do want you to see um, my neighborhood. I don't live in Old City anymore, but I, you know, I want you to see Old City. Yeah, it um, is your neighborhood. It is my neighborhood. Um, I have two. I have two homes um, in the city, and so we're. I'm just do a little walking tour. So I'm gonna show her Alfred Sally, which is the oldest continuous residential neighborhood in the United States. Mm-hmm. There have been residents on that street before we were Americans, and that's cool. Mm-hmm. And then I'm probably gonna swing her by Franklin Fountain to get some ice cream, and um, probably get cheesesteak at Sunny's, which is my favorite. Mm-hmm. And I will show her my hallowed ground of Ben Franklin's homestead, and then we'll you know see Independence Hall and see the Liberty Bell and and wash it all down with a beer at the Independence Beer Garden and so that's the little like old city tour that I have planned for her and there's even there's a ritual right to eat cheesesteaks oh yeah well it's, it's the South Philly lean you've got to you got to lean far enough forward that any grease or cheese whiz or onions don't go toppling down your shirt but land on the the ground instead <laughs> that's a local secret right there. <laughs> Well, this has been awesome, a little ridiculous, very Philly. So I want to say thank you to Eric and Stephanie and Rasa for letting people know what makes for a Philadelphia good time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. (laughs) Plan Philly's Diana Liu speaking with Eric Law of Chinatown and Stephanie Raitano and Rasa Vela of Old City. You can hear much more of their conversation about life around Independence Mall at newsworks.org.